I mean, I was on the debate team in high school. And what I loved about debate was facts versus facts and presentation. What yeah. You, what you got? Because right there, I know that's a lie. So let me tell you why that's a lie. And I'm going to prove why you're lying. That's it. And then yeah. They made that's it clear it. from day one. They do not believe in uh, abortion. They call themselves pro-life, but they're not actually pro-life. See, that's why when I destroyed that black conservative on the show, Dean, uh, the Dean of Baz, I was like, yo, y'all ain't pro-life. Y'all anti-abortion. Because you can't be pro-life if you ain't supporting policies dealing with black maternal health care. Right. You can't be pro-life if you don't support Medicaid expansion. You can't be pro-life if you don't believe in funding prenatal care. You can't be pro-life when black women are dying at a three times the rate uh, than white women during childbirth, but y'all ain't doing nothing about it. When there's a, a, gyne- a, a, a shortage of gynecologists in Mississippi, you're not pro-life. You're simply anti-abortion. Right. And see, the problem is, again, this is where debate, where people mess up in debates. If I'm debating you and I'm debating your language, okay. I'm on your turf. Facts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit there and, and and actually one of the other ways that reinforced this, David Letterman, uh, I know people think I'm like, did he just talk about abortion, David Letterman? <laughs> but but explain, you're gonna, you're gonna make explain it make what happened. Letterman need, wants to leave NBC. Right. Michael, they say Michael Ove is like, yo, we can't negotiate. We can't negotiate with anybody for 18 months. He's like, we got to figure something out. Then he goes, let's reverse the process. That we can't negotiate, they can pitch us. Correct. And that's what they did. So d- this whole idea about debating is reversing the process. I'm going to take your argument. I'm going to reverse the process. And now I'm going to define life totally different. Now, now I'm going to force you to now defend all that life stuff you don't vote for. Okay. Because you say you're pro-life. Catholic Church, hugely pro-life. White, co- white conservatives love the Catholic Church position on abortion. But the Catholic Church is also against the death penalty. So I go, well, wait a minute. If you pro-life, then why aren't I, you like the Catholic Church? Well, they absolutely are against abortion, but they're against the death penalty. But you're not. Is it that life? Oh, you're a Christian. But what if that particular person who you choose to kill, what if he would have decided to accept Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior? Now what? Before you killed them. See, now. That's, now it's quiet. Now, <laughs> and now. Yeah. This is got, what I love about now it. Now they got to debate that. So that's the mistake. If you So if you go in and I'm fighting you on your terms. No, no, no. I'm going to flip that. And, and that's the thing. You, now you got to challenge them going, hold up. So y'all voted against all this stuff. Oh, so y'all pro-life. But y'all want to cut SNAP benefits. And some 30,000 people die annually through, due to starvation. Do they lives matter? Exactly. See, see, now you got, hold up, no, but that's what you said. No, no, no. But you're pro-life. Yeah, don't, you, but, it, but it doesn't apply. That's the thing about it. Like, it doesn't go across every category. So you, so you select so a. You, so you force them to go, no, no. If you pro-life, that's why when I hit home, girl, and it just came out, when I said, if you're going to be pro-life, be pro-life from the womb to the tomb. <laughs> 